It has been 50 years since the first man from Earth stepped on the moon under NASA's Apollo mission. Now a NASA-funded lab in Colorado in the U.S. has a different plan to reach the moon. The lab wants to put robots on the moon before more humans go there. Their major goal is to make humans and machines work together. The Network for Exploration and Space Science at the University of Colorado wishes to deploy a lunar lander rover to the far side of the moon. This in order to deploy a network of radio telescopes with little help from humans. Just like a video game, astronauts will be able to control the rover's single robotic arm. It is expected to provide uh, access to moon's craggy and rough surface. The astronauts will be at a planned orbital lunar outpost called Gateway. This Gateway is already being built by an international consortium of space agencies. See it as going forward to the moon because this is not your grandfather's Apollo program that we're, we're looking at. Uh, this is uh, a expedition to the moon that's going to involve commercial partners, um, both large and small companies is going to involve international partners and it's going to be undertaking uh, new types of science and exploration that we couldn't even envision in the 1960s. So this is really a very different kind of program and very importantly it's going to involve machines and humans working together. Robots, rovers, uh, in which astronauts and, uh, in, and machines will be working together for the first time. The students have built a prototype of the robot that they are calling Armstrong. It has been named after the first man to land on the moon, Neil Armstrong. If this project works out, it could serve as a refueling station for deep space missions. It's really, it's going to be like a platform for us to start different science studies that we couldn't do from the surface of Earth. So it's really like a station where we could do a bunch of science that we've thought about doing and what we've, that we've theorized that we should be able to do that we haven't been able to do yet. Now astronaut Buzz Aldrin was one of the first two humans on the moon and as the world marks the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission to the moon, Buzz Aldrin has hit out at the lack of progress in space travel. Aldrin was the guest of honor at the Apollo 11 50th anniversary gala. Speaking alongside fellow astronauts, Aldrin said that the world needs to be ashamed that there has been 50 years of non-progress. I think we all ought to be a little ashamed that we can't... 50 years ago, the Saturn V took the command module, the lunar module, three of us to the moon. We landed, explored, got back up again, rendezvoused came back. That's 50 years of non-progress. I think we all ought to be a little ashamed that we can't do better than that.